Can you hear me? How are y'all doing? Thank you. It's great to be back. I've really missed sewing. And missed seeing all of y'all. Diana, what did you cut out? Yes, this is Lauren's uh, car trash can pattern I'm making for an upcoming show. never made those patterns before. So I have four of these cut out um, and these are all quilting cotton interfaced with SF 101. I've got Stormtroopers, Harry Potter, Wonder Women, and oh I'm sorry I just have three <laughs> not four. Yeah, I like this Harry Potter fabric, except it says Gryffindor on it, but it's gold and blue. I feel like they should have made that red instead of blue, but I still like it. Definitely a Hufflepuff. Oh, and I cut this one <laughs> upside down, but it's going to be on the back, so no one will see it. Don't tell anybody. I might discount it. I'll have to try the pixie bag.
So have any of y'all vended at a craft show before or a Comic Con? Yes, these are going to be lined with um, black waterproof canvas. The ones I made in my last video were lined with waterproof canvas, but they were the beige or tan color. And I used white thread for those, so I sewed those together, and now I'm using black thread on these three. have this one clip that's bigger than the rest of them and I always grab it and I hate it. I need to throw it out. Yeah, I live in very southern Arkansas, and we don't have very many shows here either. Most of them I go to are actually in Louisiana. Um, the one that I'm making these for, are um, that show is going to be in Shreveport, which is about two hours away. Um, but I feel you there. <laughs> yes, I love my new craft room setup. It's working so much better to have a table over here now instead of the drawers that I was just throwing everything on top of. <laughs> I just cleaned and rearranged my uh, craft room. It was really bad. <laughs> I was just throwing everything in here instead of um, putting it away like I should. And it ended up being really messy and wasn't able to work in. And now I've got it all cleaned up and functional. It really is the best feeling. <laughs> now I just have to keep it that way. Oh, thank you, Diana. I thought maybe it would help motivate someone else too if they needed to clean their craft room.
same. There's so much, so many pretty things in here. It's hard not to get distracted. And I kept finding all of these half finished projects. I'm really bad about that. Especially with, with my knitting. There's tons of them. Like half of finished socks. <laughs> Oh, I feel you, Diana. This used to be a bedroom, too, with furniture in it still. And I just had my uh, domestic sewing machine in here and a table. And that was pretty hard to stay organized. Hi, Susan. I am making some car trash cans. Uh, the pattern is by Lauren of More Me Know. And I will link that in the description box below whenever this video ends. Hi! Glad you can make it. I thought I would do something different instead of just a time lapse and uploading it since making the same thing as I did in my last video. I love how these look like a little pair of pants. Oh yeah, I love doing Vlogmas and I'm so sad I didn't get to do it last year. It was a very busy year. Uh, the dimensions are shown, but this part is a printed pattern piece. But I think you could... Um, definitely wing it just as long as you had arms long enough that would meet to velcro or snap you probably even do like 
um, webbing maybe or something and sew it into the seams and then attach Velcro on it maybe. Might be an idea. Okay, I have to remember to leave a turning hole, hole in the lining because I always forget. Yes, I also work full time and most of my sewing is done after my son goes to bed at night. lucky though because I do get to cut out fabric while I'm at work if I don't have any customers. So definitely thankful for that. That cuts down a lot of time that I can sew at home. I sell headstones. Very interesting job. Yeah, and I never really realized how many options there are for headstones until I started working there. There's all kinds. Yes, sometimes it is very sad and hard not to <laughs> cry myself. Lost that one. 
Yes, it has been very busy. Oh, thank you, Jan. I've actually never sold the car trash cans at a show before. This will be my first time, but I'll let y'all know how it goes. Uh, Stephanie, it really just depends. Some days I have a ton where I can hardly get anything else done, and then other days I don't have any at all. It really just depends, and they all seem to come all at once, too. <laughs> it's really weird how that works. Thank you. Yeah, I'll definitely let y'all know how they sell. And I'm thinking about selling them for $30 to $35. I haven't really decided yet. I'm going to see. I'm going to calculate my materials, the cost of materials, and see what they need to be priced at. Hello from Atlanta. I've been to Atlanta before. I'm assuming that's Georgia. There is an Atlanta, Texas too. Yes, everything has gone up. I've been trying to source some more vinyl and fabrics and I've noticed it. A lot of things have gone up so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to raise my prices oh yes it has been a while I've really missed sewing Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Yes, I'm glad you caught me too. Thank you. Uh, I make uh, all kinds of bags and wristlets. And yes, this is a Juki DU-1181 in. 
Yes, this is the only thing that's interfaced. Oh, and the little arms. Well, thank you for subscribing. Yes, this is Lauren Mormino's pattern, uh, the car trash can. I'll have it linked uh, when the video ends. I forgot to do that. Yes, I love this machine. It was such a game changer going from a domestic singer to this. Oh, I'm sorry you've been sick. That's no fun. Yes, I have the same thread weight in the top as the bobbin, and I believe it is a Tex 90, it doesn't say on here, I believe it's a Tex 90. seam rip and redo that oh yes I've heard those are amazing too uh, what side do I want to put this on I don't guess it really matters I'm just putting these little fold over woven labels in there. I know it's like just part of the process now to forget inseam rip. I did that on the last ones I made too.
This thing is so scary. It's like a surgical tool. But it gets the job done. Hi, how are you? That's a long ways away. I am great, thank you. Okay, maybe I won't forget the tag on this one. I'll go ahead and clip it in just in case. these from Etsy and I believe it was called love my labels and L is L U V I also have wooden tags that I rivet on um, from a different Etsy store I can link those too but I thought these just deserved a little hold over time. I came up with my name I wanted to do something that wasn't just sewing because um, I knit and crochet too and I didn't want to limit my business to one craft and I looked up random crafting words <laughs> and bobbin and weave were on there um, and I just went with that not a very um interesting story but that's the story <laughs>
<laughs> yes, it is a little unique. Um, yes, this is my side hustle, which I would love to turn into a full-time thing. It just hasn't happened yet. I wish I had more time to dedicate to it. It was a hobby at first, but I just love making things and I don't mind making a ton of the same thing. So I was starting to have a big collection of things I've made. So the only logical thing to do was to try to sell it. Adulting really is annoying. It just gets in the way of everything. Uh, right now, I only sell at craft fairs, but... Once this next show is over, that's going to be in August, I am going to either try to get a website going or um, just list it on Etsy. Mm, I really should iron this. Excuse me while I turn my iron on. Sorry, my ironing board's nosy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sometimes they do get a little off, but I always try to match up the seams and then make sure one seam is going one way and then the other seam is going the other way and it kind of helps them to lie flat. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but... That always helps me.
Oh, you have a German Shepherd. I love those. My husband had one growing up and he said it was his most favorite dog. Okay, well that didn't really make much of a difference, but. Well, thank you. I'm thinking about selling these for 30 to 35, but I have to um, uh, calculate the cost of the materials first. Oh, and a collie mix. But it's precious. And very smart. You're welcome. I hope that helps with the box corners. Um, I've actually never um, sold these at a show before. I'm hoping they do well, but I'm not going to make too many because I don't know. And they also take up a lot of fabric. Now I'm going to top stitch these. I probably should have checked my bobbin too. A little bit dangerously. Yes, the waterproof canvas is pretty pricey and it does take up quite a bit. That is true, and that's why I like using waterproof canvas, because it cuts down on time and materials. Hello. Do you want to come in? You, can, you won't be on camera. My husband's being camera shy. <laughs> he just got home from work. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you can use waterproof canvas from Harbor Freight. That would be awesome, though. That would cut down on shipping costs. Okay. Got to take my bobbin again. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. I saw it too late. Hopefully we can make it. That is true. I think they think you can just pull it out of a hat and not spend hours making something. Ow! Sorry. the last of the bobbin. The bobbin got me. That one's navy. At least it was on a part that's black that you can't really see. That worked out good. I do get a little bunching back there. Yes, these, um, I'll show you the ones I've made. They look like this, and then it's got Velcro, and you put it on the back of the headrest, and then you got 
and it doesn't really even have to be for trash. You could put um, whatever you need to in there. Thank you, Diana. Okay, and I'm going to mark the centers on these. And then also on the exterior piece, so we're going to line them up. You're welcome. Thanks to Lauren for writing this pattern and having it for free. And allowing me to do a video. I think I just have to box these lining corners and then it'll be ready to sew all together. So on the corners, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's black, but I sewed the bottom lining going that way, so I'm going to make sure this side is going the same way, and then putting the other seam the other way. I hope you can see that. They kind of like nest in there together. Yes, this will be perfect for traveling. We're going to the beach this summer, and I'm thinking about making up a couple. You could put snacks and drinks and games in it. Perfect.
Yes, exactly. Like glow squat. Yeah. Yes, I do use marine vinyl. I like the marine vinyl from Joann's. I've used it and never have had a problem with it. And then I also use like promo vinyl. And then if it's a thinner vinyl, I will interface it. Just so it doesn't tear. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Yes, I have used promo vinyl from my punk embroidery. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. I'm glad you're here. It's waterproof canvas and I believe I got it from Wholesale Fabric, Fabric Direct. Uh, I have a heat press and I put it on the cotton setting, but I don't leave it on for very long at all. Just like a few seconds to see if it's fused. And then if not, then just like a couple more seconds. I don't ever leave it on the full time. You're welcome. I'm not exactly sure what temperature that is, but it's just a cotton setting. Thank you, Jan.
Oh, thank you so much. Yes, and I think if I'm remembering correctly, they have, if you buy so many yards, you get a discount. Is that right? It's been a while since I've ordered any. Oh, Amazon. That's a good idea, too. I just ordered some uh, webbing for straps from Amazon. I'm waiting to get in, get it in and see what the quality is. Oh, okay. Is it like 17 yards or something weird like that? Let me close my door. My husband's playing video games in the next room. Um, I think I am going to try to sell them for 30 to $35, depending on how much the cost of materials are. Oh, eight fifty six a yard for three or more yards. Okay. Thank you for looking that up. Yeah, I think, may, has that gone up since the last time I bought it? Bought it. Bought it. <laughs> Y'all ignore me, it's late. Yeah, I thought that sounded a little more expensive than what I paid for it last time. Crazy.
Yeah, I hear you. I've got a lot of inventory I need to use up, which is great because I have a lot of things to make for this show. I only have a few Begonia backpacks by Blue Calla, Blue Calla. Um, I think I have nine of those made up and then a few Peekaboo beauty bags. <sighs> so much to do. Uh, the Devon pouch. It's been so long since I made one, but that is on my list of things to make for this show. Um, I think I really just match up the the side seams um, of the outer fabric and then let the lining do its thing and trim it down. And it usually works out pretty well. Thank you. It's so good to be back. Oh, nice. 200 yards. I don't think I would ever use that in my entire life. But what a deal. Sometimes I have a fear that when I make batches of things that I sew them all up and then when I turn them I've forgotten like a very important step. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Oh my gosh, you'd have to have like a crane to lift it. <laughs> I remember the first time I ordered some and it, it arrived at the door. And I was like, what in the world is this? I don't remember ordering something that's 500 pounds. Okay, since this is the one that's upside down, I got to make sure that I put it in the right way so it's on the back. Oh, now I'm confusing myself. <laughs> My husband actually works for UPS and he'd be so mad if I ordered 200 yards. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be looking at it like this. So I want that side to be facing that way. That is a very good idea. Anybody live in Southern Arkansas? <laughs> oh, thank you, Carol.
Oh, nice, Mississippi. That's not too far away. You're the one that's going to check out the Geek Con in Shreveport, right? We could meet up there. You could get 100 yards and I could get 100 yards. Ooh, Southern California, nice. I've never been to California, but I'd love to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would take up my entire closet in here. Oh, I bet it is expensive there. Yeah, five hours, that's not bad. Why you jealous? Ow. <laughs> Just punched myself. Yes, I plan on posting this on my channel. Um, when it ends, if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> and yes, I am planning on doing much more videos and also live videos. I was really nervous to do this live, but I've really enjoyed myself and I can't believe it's already been an hour and 20 minutes. It's so fun. It's like I have someone here sewing with me. It's not as lonely as usual. I don't mind being alone though. I actually work alone all day too. <laughs> Unless the customer comes in. I would love to come visit. We were actually looking at coming there this summer, but then we decided to go to Florida. <laughs> Not the same, but. Oh, I would love to do Vlogmas 2022. It was hard to come up with ideas of things to sew last time I did it though. <laughs> Y'all have to give me more ideas. Yes, I love watching lives too. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Super nervous. I 
love to move to Florida. I love hot weather, which that's what we mostly have here in Arkansas anyways, but it's more of a humid hot. Yes, I'm prepping for a show that's in August. And it's a, it's called Geeked Con. And it's like a Comic Con. So I'm trying to do all geeky ish fabrics. Oh, thank you. I loved the Christmas music I found. I think it's called Lo Fi Christmas music. And I would just listen to that even if it wasn't in a video. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, humidity is killer. Also makes my hair frizzy. No, I haven't tried the Architect wallet yet. I am planning on doing the, oh, what's it called? Winslet wallet by Hold It right there. I've got the acrylic templates for it and I find it to be um, a quick sew. And I can use waterproof canvas for the card slot so that cuts down on interfacing. Mine's really um, fine and straight unless it's humid and then it's just crazy frizzy. Oh, I love the zip and go. That's also on my list. You've sold a lot of Winslets. I haven't taken them to a show yet, but I have a feeling they'll sell pretty well. I like them. Oh, that's nice. The Cricut to cut. That's so smart. I have one, but I haven't really used it. I think I made one shirt for my son's birthday party when he turned five. And I haven't used it since. trying to remember what else is on my list. I've got the car trash cans, the Winslet wallets, the begonia backpacks, um, the peekaboo beauty bags. I'm trying to do things that are uh, like quicker that I know I can make quick and use not as much hardware. Also the Devon wristlets. And I'm also trying to have like a um, pretty good selection of different items. And I'm thinking about like a simple tote bag maybe, and then a zippered tote bag, but we'll see. I'm trying to get the easy stuff out of the way first. That way I just feel a little more accomplished if I have more made up. I'll have to look up the purse towel. I haven't made that one. Thank you for all of your suggestions. Oh, I also found the coffin tote bag by Seemingly Wicked and I really want to make those. If not just for myself. <laughs>
Yes. Oh, the Dana pack. That's also, I have 10 of those cut out right now. That's probably going to be the next thing that I make. Uh, I think that's the H2O to go, and I don't think I've, I haven't made that pattern yet, but I want to. Yes, I love seemingly wicked, wicked's patterns, too. <laughs> I really want to make the coffin wallet, but I'm too scared. Oh, that's nice. The, just the card slots. That's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, I keep seeing that they're a very fast pattern and um, super forgiving. Yes, I am on TikTok. I haven't made a TikTok video in forever, though. It's the bobbin weave. How did the coffin wallet go? Did you do, is that the one with the edge coating, right? Or am I thinking of a different wallet? Thank you for the follow. I'll try to make more. Okay, so that was the one I was thinking of. I love those. Have y'all seen the Milo bat bag by, I can't think of who it's by now. I just saw it today for the first time and I want one for myself. So cute. Oh, Sharpies, that's smart. That is true. I bet you could find any color to find uh, to match any vinyl you have. I cannot talk tonight. I'm sorry. tag. We got some loose threads. Oh, thank you. I just sew with what I like and what I would like to carry. These are from Etsy, and I believe the shop name is Love My Labels, and it's L-U-V, and I'll link that too. I get my fabrics from all over the place. Um, I got a Joanne Walmart Fabric.com. Uh, I can't think of any other places. 
uh, sometimes spoon flour, but they're really expensive. I love the Golden Girls Christmas fabric so much. I just thought it was perfect. Uh oh. I see where I didn't catch all of my fabric. I have to go and fix that. There, I think. No. Yes. Just move my uh, stitch in a little bit and catch that. Alright, got that fixed. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. One little spot in the corner. I'd rather fix it now than close up the bottom and then see it. This time I got it fixed. Yes, I do hate when that. <laughs> so annoying. I guess my interfacing was a little bit wider than the fabric and I missed it in the seam. But I got, oh, smacked myself in the face. I got it done now. And you'll never know that that happened. Well, I guess y'all will, but no one else will. <laughs> Thank you for keeping my secret. <laughs> You should. These are very fun to make and pretty simple. No zipper or anything. Kind of a nice mindless sew if you catch all of your seams. <laughs> So wrinkly. I have to iron that again. No, I just cut it out by the pattern piece. There's about two and a half inches on each side. There's this seam. Uh, I just interfaced the cotton with SF-101. The lining is not interfaced.
and I'm not even sure what my bobbin size is. <laughs> Sorry. I do need to check my bobbin though, thank you. Yeah, I got enough to sew this up. And then I'll have to wind another one, but I think once I close this one up, I'm gonna call it a night. It's too late for me. Okay, well, I got two done minus the Velcro. And I'll go ahead and turn this one. I know, I can't believe it's already been an hour and almost 45 minutes. And I have had so much fun. Thank you all for keeping me company. Thank you. It's a very satisfying pattern. Time really does fly when you're having fun. Thanks to y'all. Okay, I've got to make sure I caught all of my fabric in this one, too, just in case. All right, that one looks good. This Wonder Woman fabric, for some reason, I starch all of mine before I interface, and it just, it shrunk. I don't know what it is about this fabric, and then it made the interfacing too wide. I should have cut it down, though. Oh, 10 of them? How did it go? Oh, in April, sorry. <laughs> You'll have to let me know how it goes. And I think I found all of these fabrics at Walmart. Plus the Minions one. And then I actually designed this fabric. And I got it printed in some place in Dallas. So I'll have five of these. After I finish top stitching this one and putting the Velcro on all of them. Oh, you sold four out of five. That's great. <laughs> the other minions are super cute. I love their little facial expression. Especially that one. <laughs> and that was a little crazy hair. 
All right, well, thank you all so much for joining me on my first live. Hopefully the first of many, since I've got a lot of sewing to do. But I will see y'all next time. Thank you.